Come through your head a slab, get the you boys hugging down in the fucking bin. Lock down in that bin. Now you cook. Don't need. You didn't? I don't buy coffee. I don't buy egg bacon. Oh, you want? Yes, egg bacon. You know, eat camokai from that. Egg bacon now, camokai later. Camokai, uh, later, my mind. No yes. problem. Later, my mind. What the business? What the business? Oh, I got more likes than viewers. Man, this is a first. <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? You did. What's popping, players? Saudi Gonzal. Saudi Gonzal. Man. Copy. What's popping, y'all? What's popping with the players? You know what's popping. I just came back from the store. I got my glasses on. You know I'm about to eat a little breakfast. You feel me? Yes, sir. Ski. What's the business, man? Just getting up. Just getting up, man. Just wanted to chop it up with y'all right quick while I eat a little breakfast. I'm finna get ready to go to the gym. You did. What y'all talking about in the chat? Let's, more, let's let some more people get in the room. What's good with you, Andy B? What's popping, Justin Mouse? Justin Boss, Funky Town in the building all the time. Hell yeah, I travel to Central America. That's on the list. Nah. Yeah, my mom. Man over here uh, lollygagging with the food. I'm trying to eat now. Yeah, it's about people getting in the room, man. Just getting up. You know how it is, slow motion. But it's better than no you motion. You see it? I, I cool. Hmm? You ignore it? Yes. <laughs> I know. They ignore it. Man, oh I ain't sure. What you see, Nino? Yeah, man, we're going to talk about it, man. You want to sit? Sit, sit, Nino. Uh, no, no, sit, sit, no, sit, no. Yeah, man, we're going to chop it up, man. Something about being pondering. Oh, oh. I'm getting served my coffee, though. Thank you, Nan. Thank you. Go cash. I look on my mind. Oh, no. Oh, okay, Nick, no. Yeah, but I cook. Okay, okay. You want egg bacon, right? Egg bacon, right. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, man, just... It's out here kicking it, man. On the balcony. About to get a little breakfast, man. This is what I do every day, man. Breakfast on the balcony, man. You know? Breakfast, breakfast on the balcony for a boss. You dig? For an overseas boss. Yeah, man. What y'all talking about in these chats, man? Yeah, we're going to chop it up, man. You know? Because i only been to two places, man. i only been to Brazil. Oh, let me get my head up blockers. Hold on. <laughs> Bye, Man, moving slow with the food today. I understand. <laughs> I understand, you know. <laughs> what, what I say? I'm slow. I'm slow on the food today. Yeah, she's slow. She's slow with the food today. Nan, they say cook now. Don't need. YouTube. YouTube said don't need. <laughs> Man, can we get some more likes, baby? Y'all was doing good when we just started. When we first clicked on, y'all was doing good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I ain't dropped in a few days, man. I said I wanted to go live right quick, man. I was I was uh, sick for a few days, man. A couple of days ago, I was sick, man. I was, I don't know what it was, man. I woke up, my body aching, and it was it was a little bit cool that day, but, 
But it's all good, man. I'm feeling better. I went to the gym yesterday, man. But I was out of there, man. I couldn't even move, man. I don't know what it was. But it was just one of those things where if you just get some rest, get some good rest, man, you'll feel better when you wake up, you know. So, yeah, that's what that is. Yes, sir, Ski. Let me call out some of y'all. Cali in the building. What's popping? Appreciate that, Black. Blacker and blacker and black. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that boy does a straight hoe. You already know. I don't like to call these dudes names because I don't want to give them no kind of shine. Appreciate that, Ronald Lopez. Yes, sir. What's good with you, um, Mug Abs? Man, if I, if I slaughter y'all name, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, we got 63 in the building now. Can we get, see if we can get it like up to 100 right quick. I'm just waking up. I know y'all winding down. Y'all in the States, y'all like winding down right now, you know. Uh, I'll let there. You did. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Hold on right quick. I'm going to let y'all look at that right quick. Cook while I got to get something together. Hold on real quick. Give y'all something to look at right quick while I, uh. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got to get the production ready. You want what? I want you. Okay. Okay. You want no? Do them. Do them. what can we do today? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check back in with Nan in just a second. <laughs> See, I've been on this uh I've been on this Asian you uh TV. It's kind of interesting, man. When you watch the news, that's like our favorite thing to watch, man. They. They be having accidents and all kind of crazy. There be some crazy stuff happening out here in Thailand, man. You got to watch the news, man. They be, you know, they be some crazy stuff going on out here. For real, Jack. For real. Hold on, y'all. I ain't get myself together. You did get myself all the way together. Hold on, I'm going to let y'all look. Uh, get y'all some, uh, something to look at. While we talk about Asian women or Brazilian women, right? Which is, do you prefer? And I see a couple of y'all done hit on it. Cause I've been to both, man. I've been to Brazil and I've been to, of course I'm in uh, Thailand right now. I don't know about other Asian companies, but we all know Thailand is what's popping, man. And I think the, the general consensus is out there about, you know, uh, about the women, man, you know? And I think we all hit it on the head, like which one would you prefer, man? Would you want, okay, we all know Brazilian women are some of the most beautiful women in the world. Do you want that? Or do you want like total cooperation, man? Like you're looking at now, right? Like you're looking at now. This is how I get up every morning, man. No questions, man. No question, you dig? And that's what we got to, you know, a lot of, and that's what, you know, a lot of brothers be talking about, man. I told brothers I was coming to, to uh, Thailand, but when I left Brazil, they was like, you going to Brazil? I mean, you going to Thailand, why don't you just go to Colombia or something, you know? But the Thailand was always intriguing, man. Even though, like I told y'all, like, the, 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 the Asian women weren't quite as hard on my radar as, as, you know, the South American type, you know? Because that's what most brothers we used to, you know? We, we is, you know, coming from the States, you know, you know, all the big cities, man, you got all, I mean, you got your Asian population too, but you're going to see more of the, you know, Hispanic, you know, Puerto Rican, Dominican, uh, Mexican, you know, 
I think we more familiar with that, you know. It's just not a lot. Like I always say, I just didn't have a lot to choose from back in Dallas. Even though it is like, you know, Asian communities and stuff. I think we got like a big Korean community or something like that. It just, you know, it wasn't a lot of them to choose from, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she be counting on me times, you know what I'm saying? But let's break down, like, what are really the differences, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, one thing that I noticed in Brazil, man, them chicks know they look good. You feel me? Like, Brazilian girls know they look... I, and it's not like a uppity... It's not like a... How, you know, it's not like a, I think I'm the shit. Some of them can be like that, though. Some of them can be like that, though. But it wasn't an overly, like, American type... Thing where it's not like you know they're not even gonna talk back to you they're not gonna respond you know all that kind of shit you know it'd be some of the baddest ones man you, you you follow them on instagram man they only got a few followers man you know what i'm saying and so that was cool and i'm like damn if you was back in america you'd be a stuck up you know what i'm saying you'll be a stuck up wench you know what i'm saying but in Brazil, it was cool. You could find you a, a 10, man. And, you know, she'll give you some action. She'll give you a little action, man. So, you know, that was cool. But they, them chicks do know they look good, man. You know, it was, it's, it's like a myth that was going out there, like, you know, uh, about the Brazilian women's hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people thought them chicks cut their hair, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? The Indian women do. Because in their country... Uh, it's like part of their, how do I say it? It's like part of their culture to cut their hair, their religion, to show that, you know, there's no vanity, you know, towards God, Buddha or something like that. Something like that, you know what I mean? But so, but Brazilian women don't do that. They're not going to cut their hair. They know their hair look good. They know that they're sought after by men. They know that the women love their hair. Like, they know this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you can't catch a few of them that got the little stuck up attitude because so many brothers go down there blowing their head up, you know, it's like, you know. But I think for the most part, they cooling down to earth, especially compared to USA. You always got to compare it to the USA, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was refreshing, but that was cool. But down here in Thailand, man, like, you know, Man, it's that cooperation is a is a beast, man. Like that's what you want, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It's like, which one? I haven't been to the Philippines yet. I haven't been to the Philippines. Okay, what y'all talking about? Yeah, man. Hot boy Gates too. I'm telling you, man. Like, yeah, man. It's like I never experienced it before. Like I said. You know, I never really experienced it like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my my dad, man, you know, my dad is married to an Asian chick, man. You know what I'm saying? He just got married, you know. My dad a big player, you know. He, you know, I'm, I'm older than my dad's wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know where I get it from, man. But my, my old man, he always been, he always kind of had a thing for the Asians way before I did. But, uh. I see why though, man. I see, I see why, man. Like, so I mean, I don't know. It's like, what do, you, what would y'all prefer? Like, some dudes don't care. Some dudes just want to go where, you know, the baddies and the baddies and the beaches and the bodies are, man. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I don't know, man. It's it's hard, man. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, all right. Quit looking at my girl. Look at me now. <laughs> it's my show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now, nah, man, like. I'll put it on there in just a minute. <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't, you know, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, dang, it be hard, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I mean, this Asian cooperation, man, is a must, man. See, I, see, Thailand, man, I think this is, see, players, man, when you're a player, man, you you want to be around stuff like this, man, in Thailand, you know. You, you look for that cooperation. When you get a little older and you become more, you know, a player, you look for that cooperation. That cooperation is important, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 so embedded in their culture, man. 
you know, so like the Asian Thailand lifestyle is built for a player, man. It's built for a player. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? It's built, this is a player lifestyle, man. I mean, you know, if you want to take advantage of it like that. I mean, you know, shit. You know, Nan be cooking and cleaning like with no hesitation, man. It's like, you know, it's like, you know what I mean? I got, I got, to, I got to kind of get used to it a little bit, you know. The chicks in Brazil didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't hop up and cook and clean like that, you know. Uh, you had to kind of tell them, you know. But I mean, it's not like they put up a big fuss and get combative, you know. So that's the good thing, you know what I'm saying? They, they won't get combative with you in Brazil, but it's just not in their culture, man, to just to wake up. And, 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 and to start cooking and cleaning, <laughs> shit, man. You just sit there and eat, and you ain't got to do nothing. Now, what you want to do is have the best of both worlds, man. You know what I'm saying? See, you wanna, you wanna try to catch you a thick one, that's, <laughs> you know, that's Brazilian style, but then still got the Thailand values. You feel me? Or if you're in Brazil and you can catch one that's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Show her a couple uh, Thailand movies and, you know what I'm saying? Show her a couple Thailand girls video and tell her that's how you want her to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you can catch it like that, then you got it made. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can catch the best of both worlds in one shit, you got it made, man. But shit, I think your best bet would to come out to Thailand. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, man, find you the baddest one you can. Ah, Kofun Ka. You see what I mean? What you got there, Nan? Bacon egg? Bacon egg? And right? Uh-huh. And right? Huh. Right? Okay. Right, Ning Nguyen? Okay. <laughs> I haven't been to Colombia yet. Like, how are they compared to the Brazilian women? I don't know. Like, are they, you know... <laughs> What's it, Nan? Got you hooked. What's up, Funky Town? Yeah, man, you gotta have the best of both worlds, man. So if you can catch the best of both both worlds, man, you win it. And see, if you come out here, then you can enjoy like the cost of living, the safety, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you can catch one out here, man, that's that's thick, you know what I'm saying? Brown skin. See, that's my thing. I love the brown skin ones, man. And out here in Thailand, man, you know. See, out here in Thailand, man, they got this thing with the with the color complexion, man. They be really, I love when they be brown skin, man. I tell them all the time, man. Like when I catch one that's brown skin, they, she done, she done, she done uh, tanned and everything. Thank you. Oh man, <laughs> beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what are you doing? <laughs> no dude. <laughs> yeah, man, you catch you one brown skin, thick. And bad shit, man. But they got that color thing over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is real, real, real weird, you know. So you got to kind of fight fight against that. But shit. Nan? I love you. See, see what I'm saying? See, see what you <laughs> no, Thank you. Now say hi. You too? You too? Say hi. Hello. I don't know. You need that. Ah, uh, okay, man. <laughs> she trying to steal the show. You can't be stealing the show. This is my show. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> he said, man, that be having me mess. Nah, I'm used to it now, man. She like to, you know, she like to play for the camera. <laughs> she like to play for the camera. Yeah, that plane ride to Thailand is a beast, man. So you got to really want it, man. <laughs> you got to really want it, man. I told y'all, that, that plane ride to trail. A lot of dudes are coming out here, man. <laughs> Bacon, eggs, and cake. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Trade eight. <laughs> yeah, man. So, but yeah, man, like I was saying, man. But I had a great time in, you know, in Brazil. The, the, the chicks are cool, but they're not like Thailand chicks, man. They not man. That cooperation. This is play. This is tailor made for player lifestyle, man. Nah, man. It's like twenty four hours, man. Man, the plane ride from the states is a whole day, y'all. 
I had to, I had a six hour layover in Japan. There's not really, uh, let me say, T Stones. You say, is there anything about Thailand I don't like? Um, man, I don't know. Not, I mean, that's what I'm talking about today. It'd probably be the biggest knock would be the women, but it's not really a knock. See what I'm saying? It's not really. They out here, man. They out here everywhere. It's just <coughs> the, <coughs> that abundance of just the women like South America. It ain't quite like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Bro, if they made, bro, if they made like, if they made like, uh, bro, if like Thailand was like Brazil, that would be crazy. Like, just think about like, just think about like a bunch of Brazil type women, but in Thailand. Like the cost of living, safety, and all that other shit Thailand has to offer, that's good. Then you got the Brazilian women. Oh my! Like if Brazil was like Thailand, cheap, safe, a lot of shit to do, uh, 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 shopping and whatnot. You know? Oh man, I would never leave. You know what I'm saying? Like I would never leave. That would be. See, God knew what He was doing. That would be too. That would be too good. That would be too good for the earth, man. <laughs> That would be too good for the world, man. You know what I'm saying? You had Brazil and Thailand mixed. Like, you had the beautiful abundance of women in, in Brazil mixed with everything else Thailand has to offer. Man, they would be they would have to kick me out. I will be overstaying like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'd, be at the, 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 I'd be at the airport, and they'd be like, damn, you done overstayed three years? You know, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could be overstaying like a motherfucker. Yeah, man, you know what I mean, shit, man, for real, man. If you mix everything Thailand had to offer with that South American women, oh my God, man, it would be a beast, man, for real. I would never leave, man. I don't give a damn, but I would never ever get back on the plane and go back to America. That would be too much, man. God knew what He was doing. He was like, "Nah, okay, we're gonna put the beautiful women over here, but you know." Asia's gonna have everything else, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be crazy. But see, I don't like, I just don't like breaking it down like that, man, because it is some bad chicks out here, man. It is, man. But sometimes it can be a little bit far in between, man. That's the only thing, man. You know, you be out campaigning a little bit, you be like, damn, ah. You be like, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? You know, shit. <laughs> But then you come across a bad one. You be like, okay, damn, you know, damn, she got ass. You know what I'm saying? You look, you know, how we look, you turn around like, damn, okay, she got ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you marry out here, you can definitely get your citizenship. Having a baby, things like that. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, I gotta find one of them chocolate top. Man, I be seeing some chicks out here, man. They be looking black, bro. I be like, they gotta have somebody black in their family. You know what I'm saying? They got to. <laughs> yeah, man, for shit, so, man. So, yeah, man, I'm in. Y'all chime in, man. So, most of y'all look like y'all would rather have the cooperation of a Thai woman. Versus the beauties of the South America. I mean, y'all chime in. Let me see what y'all got to say. What's that, soldier babies? <laughs> what y'all talking about Miami for, man? We talking about overseas shit. Fuck Miami. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn? I'm still learning, man. This Thai language hard as hell. It ain't. That's another thing. The language, man. Shit. I mean, this language is a little harder. I was a little more motivated before I went to Brazil. I learned I learned that language good. You know, I learned that language like a motherfucker. I can speak. I'm losing it now because I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? TF, you say you'd rather have South American women? I don't know, shot caller. That's what I'm trying to see. I mean, if I just had to say right now, I would say Thailand. Uh, shot caller, I mean, but... Go check out both of them, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Game of Brawl bagged a white woman. <laughs> what?
You need some thick, huh? I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all can't just look at how thick the chick is, man, and all that shit, man. Try some of this good cooperation in your life, man. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, like I said, man, you know, it all comes down to everything else, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the women, man. See, that's the deal breaker with Thailand. Thailand will get you hooked with everything else. It's gonna get you hooked with everything else, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be tricking, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, yeah, well, that's a good point, Shot Caller. If you just, if you just looking to have fun, you gonna go somewhere just straight trick, you know, you ain't trying to, then you might look at Brazil, you know? That's a good point. Like, for some of y'all that's just traveling and you know, you just want a good 30 days, two week vacation to live it up with the rule. You know you're going to be doing a lot of tricking. Well, I can see you going to Brazil. You know what I'm saying? I can see you going to Brazil. I think Thailand is more of a long term kind of stay. That's that's that, that that's the biggest difference, man. I think, yeah, that's I'm glad you brought that up. That's the biggest difference. So if you're looking to stay somewhere long term, Thailand is definitely the better option. Hands down, man. Hands down. You look in the expat. You know what I'm saying? You're looking to be somewhere, you know, in your digital nomad, you know, thing you're trying to do six months or a year. Uh, you're looking for somewhere to settle down, to be like a hub or something. Now, I don't know about Thailand being a hub like that because it's way out here. I mean, shit. You know, unless you want, unless you're just an Asian kind of guy, you want to be in the Philippines, Thailand, you know, this would be a good hub. But shit, if you want to go back to Brazil, Colombia, and shit like that, it's kind of far out the way. So, eh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate that five dollars shot, Collie. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. I'll take a slim, thick, or Asian chick. Okay. Yeah, man. That's why I said if you can catch best of the both worlds, you win it. If you come out here and catch you some thick, you win. You winning, man. Just got my 100% two years worth of back. Ooh, boy, you finna be balling. Oh, yeah, man. Greg Norman, you gonna have a whole lot of fun, player. <laughs> yeah, that back pay stacked up. Come on out here to Thailand, man. You gonna be the man. That's a, a good, good uh, Brian Box. That's a good point, man. The whole visa situation in Thailand is easier, man. It's, it's easier. And, it's, and it takes less time, I believe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're standing. Yeah, man. That's, a, that's another good thing. <laughs> the visa situation, man. Yes, man. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, man, that visa situation, man, that's important. I think it'll only take like 30 days in Thailand. So if you come to Thailand and you're looking to stay a long time, long term on the visa, you can get that hooked up quick with just about a lot of people. I mean, it'd be people coming to me all the time talking about, hey, man, you trying to get a visa? I can hook you up with this guy. Woo, woo, you know, I like going to an agency. You know, it'd be a lot of people telling me just on the street how they can hook me up with somebody. I don't be trusting that shit. I got to go into an establishment. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I've been working with the same people that does my visa, you know, every month. I don't fool the people I told you about in the video. So I just stick with them. But yeah, man, the visa situation is way, uh, I don't know about cheaper. I think it's about the same as Brazil. I think Brazil is somewhere around, you know, over $1,000. And out here it's like 1000 1500 So same thing. But the process is easier out here, man. In Brazil, they put you through a whole lot of other shit, man. You got to have a certain amount of money in your bank. And it, it, just, it takes longer. You know what I'm saying? It takes like three months and shit, you know. And you got to qualify for a certain, you know what I mean? I hear you just get an educational visa you good. You know, just pay the folks and they're going to take care of it, you know. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So that's another good thing about Thailand, man, for sure. <laughs> How would you describe the safety in Brazil realistically? What's the worst thing a tourist in Zona Sul would have worried about compared to Thailand? Oh, uh, Brazil, man, it's just, you know, it ain't super dangerous. 
the most dangerous on the beach, you know, where the tourists flock, you know, that's, that's where they're going to come fuck with you at. And it's going to be a lot of theft, robberies and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, stealing other phone, jewelry and shit, backpacks and shit, you know, that's what they, that's what they do in Brazil. That's that, that is the main uh, uh, crime in Brazil, theft. They're going to take your shit and run. You're going to see a lot of that. That's that's what it is. It ain't a lot of like a lot of other crime. It's stealing your shit and they're going to run. That's what you're going to have to worry about. Your shit getting stolen when you're not paying attention. That's When you talk about crime in Brazil, that's what it is. No one's going to come beat you up and all that shit. Uh, you know, just like dangerous crime, like to physically harm you. You leave your shit, they're going to steal it. Period. That's that's the crime in Brazil. You know. <laughs> uh -huh. I ain't never been to Barcelona. Hey, yes, now, yes, shall I come? You know how it is. You talk, I love you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the process is more smooth out here, man. So, yeah, keep that in mind for all you guys want an expat, man. Uh, you know, uh, if you look for expat, you know, six months a year or whatnot, yeah, man, Thailand's process is definitely easier. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the weather, a lot of the stuff I broke down, I always say this, guys, please go back and look at my video I did on Thailand and Brazil. You know what I'm saying? The weather is good in both spots, so uh, it's kind of a wash on that. Wait till I come to the Philippines. Okay. Okay, so oh, what? what is it, man? So are the Philippines, who's thicker? Okay. Who who, who got more body? Philippines or Thailand chicks? Y'all let me know in the comments. I don't know. I ain't never been to the Philippines yet. Are the Philippine women, are they thicker? Or do they got more bodies like the brothers like? Or what's up? For all the brothers been in the Philippines. Filipinas, they thicker? Or are they thicker? <laughs> who cooperates more? Philippines? Okay, yeah, break it down. Who, who cooperates more and who got better bodies out of Thailand and the Philippines? Philippines, but Thai is better. I don't Thailand from what you observe. Yeah, I do like the Filipino look. You right, man. They do got that little a that little Asian Mexican look. They, 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 I like how they look. Brown skin. Okay, so okay, like we got a lot of. Philippines. Okay, y'all coming with the Philippines. Damn, do I need to go to Philippines? Am I missing something? Was I misinformed? <laughs> I, don't, I ain't been in the Philippines yet, man. The biggest difference between the two is the attitude. Dimitri Cohen. I love Nan. I love Nan, sir. <laughs> I do love Nan. I mean, you know, shit, man. Hey, man, player got a heart. Yes, they want to know that I love Nan. Yeah, man, who's thicker? The Philipp I mean, break down the, dip the major difference between the Philippines and the Thai. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do like that Philippine look. They, they got that other look. They got that. But, but a lot of the Thai girls got, got that look too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. They got that little Mexican uh, mixed with Asian look. You know what I'm saying? Damn, y'all. Okay, so y'all saying, now I need to get down there to that Philippine. Okay, so, okay, y'all stopping the hall for Philippines. <laughs> Thailand women are beautiful, yeah? <laughs> okay. See, I'm just starting my my travels, man. I've only been to Brazil and Thailand. And when I go somewhere, I like to stay for a long time. 
I don't really be doing a, a week or two. I mean, you, when you travel somewhere, you got to be there for at least 30 days just to really get dug in and just to really understand what's going on around there. Okay, we got a few haters in here. Haters, I, I'll get to you later, haters. I'll get to y'all later. I'm talking to, to, my, to my real player subscribers right now. I'll get to the haters later, all right? I know y'all want daddy's attention, okay? Daddy will be with you in just a moment. The Philippines were conquered by Spain, so the majority of the women have Spanish blood and have... Oh, okay, appreciate that gap tooth gains, okay? Giving us a little education right there. Okay, so they was conquered by Spain, okay? So what's the family dynamic like in Philippines? You know, is it like the Thailand tradition where you, you know what I'm saying, where you meet the parents and... You know, I don't know. Uh, is their tradition the same? You know, with the money and all that shit? Do they kick back money to their family? Like, how does that work out? I don't know. I don't know. Because that's, you know, for some guys, that's a big thing. You might not want family meddling all in your business. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like I said, guys, you know, I met, I went, when I went down there and met Nan's family, they weren't all like, you know, Hey, you know, you, you want to be my daughter, you know, you need to pay this and pay that, you know. That's how they was making it sound. I'm like, damn, you know, the first time I went down, but, you know, they weren't tripping like that, bro, you know. <laughs> now, if you give us some money, you're not getting your change back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, if you send it to the store, you're not getting your change back at all, player. <laughs> Filipino or yeah. okay, yeah. Filipinos are 100% family oriented. I have number now. Okay, yeah. wait, hold on now. Okay, so I, I, that's probably an Asian thing, man. The family dynamic. So that's probably all over Asia with the family. Because, you know, even back in the States, man, I was always see, you know, that family bond with the Asians is important, man. Because they'll have like their grandfather living with them. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll be a family, and then you know, uh, you know, mother, wife, daughter. But then the grandparents live with them. Like that's a must. You know, they ain't kick. They don't put. You don't see no a old Asians in old folks' homes, do you? <laughs> you ain't go, go to an old folks' home. You ain't gonna see no Asians. They take care of that. That's white. That's an American thing. That's white and black people. You know, our parents get older. It's like go to the old folks' home. They don't do that in the Asian in the Asian community at all. <laughs> Yeah, man, they, they take care of each other, man. They not finna send their mother and father to no old folks home. They don't do that. They gonna stay with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, man. That's good, though, you know. The family dynamic, you know. Okay, okay. That's a good point, Mr. Mike Hennigan. Philippines are based on large military presence. The women seem more comfortable with brothers. Okay. Who, uh, as far as brothers, like, who who cooperates with the brothers the most, you know? Because they do say out here in Thailand, you know, some of the girls, you know, they like the white filet, you know? They go for the white filet first, you know what I'm saying? And then brothers are kind of, you know what I'm saying? Who cooperates with the brothers the most, though? You feel me? It's about the same. <laughs> okay, so everything is about the same. You know what I'm saying? From what I guess. They just got a little more different look in the Philippines. Okay, 50-50. Bella. <laughs> we thinking bad too. <laughs> What's up with it, Bella? Are you are you are you Thai or Philippine, Bella? Same, same, but different. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to break this down, man, you know, because I will be traveling more, uh, 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 you know, across Southeast Asia. So, you know, I'm new to the whole Asian thing. I appreciate that. My world, my my world. What's up, pimping, checking in? Yes, sir. Appreciate that $2 holler. My boy always tapping in. Man, y'all stomping hard for the Philippines. Damn, am I tripping? Why did I come here first? All I heard about was Thailand, Thailand, Thailand. And then I'm here now. Niggas talking about Philippines. <laughs> That's why, you know, like I said, I'm just starting my travels, man. I will be in Philippines, so y'all watch out for that. Uh, y'all watch out for that. 
Okay. Yeah, Japan is expensive, man. I might, you know, <laughs> now I might just be, if I go to Japan, I'll probably just be there for a week. I probably ain't really finna be doing Japan like, like I hear, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Japanese is low. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, man, hey. So, it looks like the Asian culture is winning, man. <laughs> Yeah, this Asian culture is winning, man. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Ronald Lopez says, Hey, game, any tips to pick up high caliber women like tens? Uh, first, leave the country. <laughs> yeah, first, leave the states. You know what I'm saying? See, my thing is, man, you can find a ten. See, like I said, man, you can find a 10 in the favela, in the village. That's why I like it. See, it be them diamonds in the rough, man. You know how many bad chicks I see from the villages and favelas, man? You know what I mean? I mean, chicks be bad, man, you know. And me as a foreigner, I don't care, you know, that they're from where they from, you know. Like, I'm not from this country. I'm not from Brazil. I'm not from Thailand. So I don't really care if you're not in, you know, uh, you know, upper echelon, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I'm from America. You're beautiful. We can rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care where you're from and all this old shit. And do your folks got money? You know, all that old shit, you know? See, that's American shit. You know what I'm saying? That's American shit, you know? Because chicks out there got way more opportunity. It's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, even though you can find you a diamond in the rough anywhere, you know what I'm saying? But y'all shouldn't be on that shit when y'all come out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, you meet a bad chick, she bad. Okay, we can rock, you know what I'm saying? I got the American dollar. We cool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so man, yeah, when y'all come out here, look for the diamond in the rough, man. You ain't gotta just find you know uh, you know, she ain't gotta be goddamn, you know, uh from the suburbs and all of those shit, you know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, one dollar for the family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as you look good and you fuck with me, we can rock. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I'm going to boss you up anyway. It's all good. You ain't got to be. You know what I'm saying? Nigga kill me with that kind of talk. You know what I'm saying? Bring your black ass to another country. Nigga, you better go to the favela and, and the village and get you one. You know what I'm saying? Quit playing. Yeah, I heard that, Steve C. Man, you can't buy property in Thailand. Only a condo, T-Stones. Yeah, I'm trying to help y'all out with that, man. Don't y'all come out here trying to buy property, man, and don't get married to a Thai chick, and then, you know what I'm saying? Because she going to own more of the property than you. I'm telling y'all, I tell y'all this all the time, man. Do not get caught up in that, man. It just, uh, I wouldn't do it. You know, if you get married to her and you want to buy property, go back to the States and buy some property. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you can't buy property in the Philippines? Can you buy it outright? I mean, what's the laws on that? What about TGE bar fines? Do you recommend that? What the hell is a TGE bar fine? No, I don't bar fine, sir. I went over this a million times with you guys, man. There's ways around a bar fine, fam. You know what I'm saying? Come out here and talk to some OG vets, man. You know? Yeah, man. This is def coming out here is definitely an older, you know. When you look in the expat, you definitely want to be an older guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. You know, this 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 expat game is definitely you wanna live a little bit and then leave the states, you know. I mean, I guess you can expat in your 20s or 30s. I don't know, man, but it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You got to be mentally ready to deal with these women. You know, I think I think that's it's better when you're older. You matured a little more so you know how to handle shit. He said, what are your thoughts on Vlad TV? <laughs> 
I don't know, man. We, we, we talking about travel content, man. <laughs> no, I am not 50, man. <laughs> I'm not 50, man. No, I ain't 50, man. <laughs> Mm, okay, so Philippines, they be looking ready, they be ready to settle down. Yeah, man, the top partners own 51%, guys. Y'all got to remember that, man. Do not come out here. But you can buy a condo, though. You can outright buy a condo. Do not buy no property, man. As soon as you go back to the States and y'all fall out, she can sell the shit, man. You know what I'm saying? She, she don't even need you. She can sell it. She probably be looking for a buyer while y'all married, you know. Waiting to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Waiting for some shit to go wrong. She's gonna cover her ass, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna have some escape money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So yeah, stick with the condo. Might buy you a fly condo, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Y'all really wanna know how old I am. I ain't 45 either, man. I ain't 45 either. I'm in my forties though. I I give you that. I'm in my forties, you understand me? But uh <laughs> Still looking like I'm in my, my 20s, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like I'm in my 20s. <laughs> oh, shit. A meet and greet with subscribers? Uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of haters out there, man. There's a lot of haters. I don't know what you boys, is. who's who, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you did. Okay, we got more haters popping up. Okay. I'll get to the haters in just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Daddy, Daddy will get with you in just a minute. Okay, G-Man 300? Daddy will be with you in just a minute. Yeah, man, age is age. That's another thing, man. Age, and that's another thing. It seems like the, the Asian women are more cooperative even if you get older, right? You see, you come out here, you see a lot of guys getting pushed in wheelchairs and shit. You know, gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you know, say gotta. Young. See, the age go like this. You want to get you some twenty years old or younger, like. So if you see a sixty year old guy here, he line to have him a forty year old. You know, saying forty something, thirty, forty year old. You know what I'm saying? You know, you in your forties, you gonna want you some in your twenties. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you want to get him, you want to get him at least twenty years young. But that, that might be a stretch, twenty years, but Mom's definitely younger. <laughs> okay, let's look at Nan. Nan wants some attention. <laughs> Nan uh, wants Nan wants want some attention. <laughs> okay, hold on. She gonna give me <laughs> Nan. You gonna give me put up YouTube? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Nan wants to play the lottery, and I, and I can't tell her no. It's only a dollar, you know. But she done won a few times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I hear. Hey, man. You you know that's another good thing. I I, I didn't mention. Uh. You know, you can be up in age, man, and get you some young and fine around here, man. In Asia, they with that. They with the old man game. So that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, that's refreshing to know, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if the Brazilian women really do do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, they'll probably trick with an older dude here and there, but. I don't know, man. It seems like it's just more people, Asian culture, man. Dudes be out here in wheelchairs getting pushed and shit. They getting helped across the street, you know, with a cane. You know what I mean? Like, you know, old dudes, as long as you got some money, you still get some action, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know if it's quite like that in Brazil, you know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, old dudes getting action out here, man. So <laughs> that's a plus, you know. Shit, because I'm in my 60s, man. I still want to be able to catch a young, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, my old man, he look good. He in his 60s. He look good. Like I tell you, my old man got a, I'm older than my dad's wife. You know what I'm saying? And he look good for his age. You know what I'm saying? So they be thinking we brothers and shit. So I know when I'm in my 60s, I'm still going to be catching them. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be catching them. Young, fine. You know what I'm saying? For real. Okay, who we got here? G-Man 300. G-Man. Okay, you're not a G for one. You know, nigga, you need to be B man, as in bitch man 300, bitch made 300. You're just a trick to them. Asians been playing the game for a long time. S spoken like a true sucker. You know what I'm saying? See, this is why I understand. You know, 
Some of you guys get on here and you just give all the power to the women. You know, it's like the, the women are going to do this to you. You know, the Asian women got all the game. They're going to do this, man. Where are you dudes from, man? You know what I'm saying? I was raised around players, you know, bosses. We talk player shit. We don't be like, okay, the bitch is going to do this to you. She's going to do this. She's going to, y'all love putting the women up here on the pedestal. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand that, man. I come from, we talk player shit, you know. We talk about what we're going to do with the broad and this and that and woo the woo. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just get on here. Them Asian girls are going to do this to you. They're going to do this. They got all the game. They're going to use you. They're going to do this. It's like, damn, what was y'all raised at, fam? You know what I'm saying? Like, did y'all talk to old OGs and players? You know what I'm saying? Y'all just give power to the to all the women out here. You know, that's why y'all come out here and be tricks, fam. You know, cause you don't you don't know what to say to a woman. You don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? You just look at videos. You be like, <laughs> Asian girl's gonna use you. When you leave, she's gonna build another guy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, man, man up, bro, man up. We don't talk like that. You know what I'm saying? We keep our foot on a broad neck. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do, okay, over here on Game of Broad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> you suckers always in the comments talking about what the chick is going to do to you. You know what I'm saying? What about what I'm going to do to her? You know what I'm saying? What about me? I got the money, the game, and the power, okay? I dictate what's going to go on. I might leave her heartbroken. You understand? Y'all don't look at that part of the game. Y'all just look at all about what the women is going to do to the men out here because y'all some suckers. That's why. You know what I'm saying? It's always a sucker in here talking about what a woman's gonna do. You know? Who gives a fuck what she gonna do? You know what I'm saying? You know? Did nigga, you I got the power. Go by now. Man. Okay. I mean, mama, I know by your child, you like. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on. My baby wanna get oh, some Oh, you hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> you <laughs> told mama you be <laughs> ugly. Oh, my God. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Yeah. Nan, can't wait to. <laughs> y'all love Nan, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, I let the haters hate, man. You know. Oh, damn, hold on. I dropped my joint. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, man. You know. Okay, who else is here in there hating? Okay. I don't know. I ain't been to Colombia. You say where the Colombian women rank uh, second channel? I don't know, man. I don't know. I ain't been to... I'm, I mean, I know they bad. Shit, I know that. I know what's up with Colombia. I just ain't been there because I'm scared. I'm not trying to get scoped. <laughs> I ain't trying to get scoped, man. It's not worth it. I'm not... Hey, man. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The... You know, the, the, you know, woman ain't, you know, like, I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to put my life in danger. You know, it ain't that good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't trying to put my life in danger, man, for no chocha. You know what I'm talking about? No. No, sir. Yeah, man, they gonna hate on a D-Town player. <laughs> for real, man. But yeah, I, 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 yeah, man. Hey, man. Yeah, I got, I gotta have, like I said, man. You gotta have your cooperation, man. Cooperation, man, this shit is tailor made for a player. You know what I'm saying? A real player. That's what that's why I think, man, Thailand, you know, Thailand over Brazil right now, man. I mean shit. Yeah, I'm hearing Colombia's over, but I gotta go take a look at it. I'ma dip in and dip out, cause I got to, just for documenting, for travel, journalistic purposes, you know what I'm saying? I'm a traveler, man, so I gotta go take a look at it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That boy said Thailand over Oak Cliff. <laughs> hey, no, for real though, man. Thailand over the Cliff. Bye, bye. I love the Cliff though, man. My city, my, my, my city I always ripping. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, man. Uh, what's your Drew Titan? I mean, yeah, man. You know, uh, I was out there in the streets, man. You know, uh, you know, shit. Just living that player lifestyle, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But now I'm overseas with it. You know what I'm saying? Game abroad now, you know. You say I was a traveler, the Nan hooked me. Guys, I mean, come on, man. See, a lot of and that's as far as me, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all say it's the difference between me and Brazil and now. Y'all like to say I fell in love now. I was a player in Brazil. Now I'm, you know, now I'm lame, I'm a square, I'm in love. No, guys, it's just I want to do my content in a different direction, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all. I mean, you know, I'm going to get back to that. Trust me, I'm going to get back to, uh, you know, sometimes that be a lot of hard work, man. You know, running around, trying to catch chicks on your, you know, because I be wanting to do stuff, man. You know, I, I construct my videos a certain way, man. Like, I want to show, like, I'm a travel channel, man, first. Like, I'm not a overseas, uh, damn, can we get the likes up? All right, guys, come on with the likes, man. You know? How hard is it to hit the like button? I mean, it take a millisecond, like, bam, and you over with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn. But, yeah, guys, look, you know, so my, I'm a travel channel, guys. See, you see, see, a lot of guys, you know, it's cool to do the interviews and things, but I'm not a dating channel. I mean, I'm not a, I mean, I'm a travel, I like traveling. Fam. I like going to favelas and villages and shit. I like getting in the creeks and shit, getting muddy and shit. See, you know, you know guys like Kurt Cass, guys like Checks and Effect, I like their channel. They some real travel channels. They not just all about, uh, you know, going to some big touristic where all the tourists are talking to the women, you know. But I'm not finna be on walking street doing interviews. That ain't no travel information. That ain't no travel channel. You know what I'm saying? Like that just, I did that. When I was in Brazil, you know, Copacabana, hey, can I get an interview? That shit get old. I'm going to do that because it is needed. I do like that kind of content. Don't get me wrong. I mean, because y'all want to see that. But, you know, hey, man, I be wanting to look at other interesting shit. And I like to have the female there to give y'all some eye candy. Because y'all ain't going to look at me go to a temple by myself telling y'all about the temple. Y'all ain't going to give a damn. You know what I'm saying? If I got a bad little chick with me, it just makes the video better. That's all, guys. So, you know, I be wanting to show y'all stuff and do certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes them interview with these females, man, see, y'all just looking at it from y'all viewership standpoint. You know, bro, like I tell you, chicks is always hitting me up. Back in Brazil, want me to take videos down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's been a couple of them hitting me up all the time. Hey, can you take the video down we did? Cause, uh, and I already know what it is. It's some dude like him and... You know, he's sending her money now, and now she want me to take my video down. You know, and I'm like, no. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, no. I'm not taking my video down and all of those shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it be shit in the game. with the. Then some girls, you know, see, with the girls in the video, some girls that do it on the spot because they cool. Uh, some girls, you got to get a little rapport with them. That's what I was doing in Brazil. I would, some, some chicks would do it on the spot. Some would some would, some would, some would, I would have to get some rapport with and, and meet them later and, you know, talk to them and shit. And then we'll hook up for a video then. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, some of them will run from the camera and all that old kind of shit. You know, some of them, they won't want a few dollars right then. Whatever. Some of them like you and they're just going to do it off GP. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but no, who knows how it's going to go later on down the line. You know what I'm saying? So I like having a chick. Yeah, man, you know, yes, yeah, so I like having it. That's what I like about Nan. She ready made, she there, she ready to do it. Bam, I got the the whole female shit taken care of, you know what I'm saying? And now we can go do some real travel shit, you know what I'm saying? These American dudes that like them. These American dudes that like them. Yeah, man. The American dudes, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. So, yeah, you know, like, that's my whole thing, man. I don't want to just... Trust me, I'm going to always talk to the women. You know, that's always going to be a big factor. But it's just, you know, 
Hey, man, I like doing other shit, man. I like doing other shit, man. I like going to her village, man. That that be my my most uh my greatest content, my most viewed content, man. When I'm in the when I'm in the uh, uh village with her, man. Go look at my my numbers on my content, man. Shit. The uh, video I just did with her, we had like a, over a hundred hundred thousand views, man. Over a hundred thousand views, man. In like less than a week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, man. People want to see that kind of content, man. You know, it's interesting. You know. If I just run to some tourist spot and try to talk to a girl, I mean, that shit cool, but she got to be bad. It got to be something about her to, for me to stop and put on a camera, woo to boo, you know, all that old shit. Yeah, that's a mega, mega bisp. You right about that, man, because I got food poisoning, man. I was shitting for a week, man, straight up. <laughs> For real, mega mega bitch, that's you is not lying, bro. You will get food poison out there, man. That's for real. Uh, CL Easterling, I did show the village, man. You said I, I, I had the camera on me too much. Uh, my bad. Next time I go, I just straight show the village. <laughs> I, I I be talking and stuff, so you know, if I got something I want to say, I, I'm gonna talk to the camera. Okay, what we got here? Let me get to a hater. Dimitri Cohen. Okay, you, you're another one of my biggest fans because I always see you in my lives. All the time, bro. Who you still paying, my dude? What are you saying? Who leaves their job to get nothing in return? I don't even understand your question, man. You need to form a better... I, I, I'm not really understanding I thought it was funny when people tried to expose you by saying they saw Nan at a bar me. Yeah, exactly, man. You know, shit. Y'all was up there supporting her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. Exactly, Tyrone. See, you know, real players, they understand shit, man. I'm going to be in Thailand for a minute. Or I'll be in Southeast Asia, uh, Patrick Bennett. I'll, this is my hub right now. I definitely plan on going to the Philippines. Y'all don't talk me into it. I'm going to the Philippines for shit show. Uh, you know, Laos, shit like that. Uh, you know, I, you know, because it's cheap. You got to take take advantage of it while you're here just to fly all around Southeast Asia. So, yeah, man, just y'all stay tuned. I'm going to be everywhere, you know. I'm going to be getting ready to move, you know, move, move, move around and shit. You know, probably take Nan with me a couple spots, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't leave Nan here. Cause y'all, cause y'all, cause y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna try to take her from me. <laughs> she gotta come with me, man. I gotta watch her. <laughs> you did. Yeah, that wooden temple, CL Israel. If you come out here, man, go check out the Sanctuary Truth. If you're gonna see one temple, it's too many of them, man. So if you just wanna check out one Sanctuary Truth, man, for sure. Okay, what else we got going on here? What y'all talking about? Yeah, I do need to get out there to Africa, man. I got to I gotta go to Africa one day. I got to get more hip to it, though. I got to see where should I go in Africa. Yes, sir. Uh, when did you start traveling, Shot Caller? Uh, like a year ago. Yeah, this is my, like my first year, man. I've only been traveling a year, man. Yeah, man, just a year. I can babysit Nan for you, gang. <laughs> I bet you can. I bet you can. Yeah, you can get around the wheelchair, get your nice little tight chick. She'll push you around. MMA, yeah, Johnny, Johnny Surratt, yeah, man, check out the Muay Thai, man. Y'all checking my last video on the Muay Thai, man. You can take Muay Thai class. I think my gym offers them uh, 400 baht for a day. So, yeah, man, the Muay Thai thing is uh, real cool out here. Oh, yeah, Vietnam for sure. Uh, uh, Mr. Mugabe, Mugabe, scary, my bad player if I slaughtered your name. But, yeah, Vietnam I heard was cool. 
definitely gonna be checking out Vietnam, man. Vietnam. Yeah, I'm gonna get to the motherland, man. I can't be a traveler, man. Never go to the motherland. I'm just starting out, guys. This, you know, it's my first year. It's barely been a year, man. I'm gonna be out there. Yeah, I don't know about the Vietnam. So how are the Vietnam women? Who's been to Vietnam? I heard it's cheaper than Thailand. Is that true? That's one thing I heard. I don't think Philippines is too much. I think it's a little more expensive than Thailand from what I heard. You know what I'm saying? I like to go where it's cost effective. You feel me? <laughs> yes, sir. He said, we all tricks by default in America. Can't get a girl without spending $20 Nah, for real, shot caller. I mean, yeah, I always say this, man. I talk all that shit, but, you know, I be spending money. I mean, you're going to be forced to spend money. you fucking with a female. I mean, you're going to be forced, especially if you come out here, you know. I talk all that shit, man, but, you know, you can't go overseas and just be like, I, see, niggas be talking about tricking. Bro, you're not going to go overseas and just have your hands in your pocket all the time. Like, I ain't paying for no dinner. I ain't buying no drink. I ain't paying for no shit at the beach. I ain't doing nothing. That's, that's tricking. I ain't coming out here to trick. I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't going to get no action, man. I mean, niggas think they just going to come out here and be like, shit, I ain't, I ain't buying no dinner. That's tricking. I ain't going to buy no drink. You know, I ain't going to buy no lawn chairs at the beach. Hell no. That's tricking. You niggas in the States goofy as fuck, fam. <laughs> you really think you going to come out here and do that because that's tricking. Man, you niggas are so goofy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, God, when I talk about tricking, guys, this is what I mean. I'm talking about proposition. You know you a trick. You met her under the coconut tree. You went into a bar. You know, you discussed proposition. She told you how long you had, and you put the money on the dress, and she got up and left. Like, that's tricking, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it missed me with that, you know. That's what I'm talking about. Like, some straight up, you know what I'm saying? You know, here's the money. Okay, I got one hour, you know, <laughs> you know, all this old shit. I mean, no, bro. Like, you, you fuck with a girl, you're you going to spend the money. Just don't treat me like no sucker. That's all I'm saying. I'm not on sucker time, you know. Uh, you show me you like me, we can kick it. Okay, yeah, you're going to get tools and you, you know, you're going to get some out of me. You fucking with me. And some chicks, and some dudes say that's the long game. I don't understand the long game thing. I mean, I understand what y'all trying to say, but the long game is cool with me. I'm cool with the long game. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna play the long game. Like we gonna race to the finish line. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm cool with it. Don't try to knock my head off the first week, though. Uh, I mean, what is the long game? Is the long game like okay? I'll just, you know, uh, that's cool, shit. Cause by the, by the by the end of the game, bitch, I might be gone. You know, shit. So good luck on the long game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, but hey, like I said, I mean, you gonna spend some money, guys. Just. Don't, you can't treat me like a sucker. You know, I'm not putting no money on the dress and you ain't finna tell me how long I got. You know, fuck out of here, man. You know, but guys, you all gonna spend money. You come out here. I mean, so all you do is talk about, yeah, you, you, you went out, you went way over there to trick. Right, man, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Where is on God's green earth, you just keep your hands in your pocket uh, dating a female, you know? I ain't gonna pay for no dinner. That's tricking. I ain't buying that... Bro, one dude was watching my, one dude did a reaction to one of my videos with Nan. Uh, nigga, and he saw me buying a coconut. He was like, oh, look, he buying a coconut. He, nigga, a coconut? Are you serious? The nigga actually said that on this video. The nigga said, oh, look, he, he buying a coconut. Bro, you niggas got it. <laughs> you niggas, you, your haters just don't make sense sometimes. Nigga, that coconut was like $1.50. Are you serious? <laughs> Boy, you niggas hell. I told you that you don't strike me as no sucker, Ben said. Appreciate that, Dimitri. Yes, sir. Boom. Okay, boom. Are you calling me a trick, sir? Okay. Yeah, bro, nigga tripping on the coconut, man. I ain't gonna call out the sucker name, bro. These niggas be killing me on these videos. The nigga paused and said, okay, look, he buying the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, man, these niggas hell, bro. Like, sometimes the hate just don't make sense. It just, you got to think with your hate. Just, you know, I mean, come on, man. Like, make it make sense a little bit, bro. A coconut, my nigga? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. 
these niggas lame as fuck out here, fam. I'm telling you, some of these YouTuber niggas out here are lame as fuck, man. Oh, man. And they try too hard. They're not really no players. They some suckers, man. <laughs> For real. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, guys, you can't come out here. It's okay to spend money on a female here and there, guys. Just, you know when you tricking, man. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so that's my thing. Game abroad, you know, I'm telling y'all, I spend money on female, but I don't let them take advantage of me. And I know where I'm at, man. I'm I, I'm out the country, you know. And see, this is my thing, bro. You know, uh, you can use me, don't misuse me. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you dig what I'm saying? Like, don't misuse me. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, we all get used. Uh, I know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, bro, when I see where these chicks be from, see, bro, when a motherfucker coming from a certain kind of conditions, you know they need the money. Yes, I'm still... <laughs> You know, a motherfucker come from a certain kind of condition. You know they need the money. It's not like they're using you. Like, I can see if they these people already had money and that's how they attain their money by using people and stealing. But it's like, okay, shit. Bitch, you're from a favela a village. You know what I'm saying? I know you ain't got no money. So, of course, I'm going to pay for the dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, motherfucker, some motherfuckers trying to survive, man. Like, I know when I'm being used. I know when I'm being took for a sucker. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so if you a little, if you a, if you a, if you a, if you a, a chicken, you from, you know, the village or whatever, shit. Uh, I know you're going to want a few dollars fucking with me. I know that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's cool, player. Don't feel no kind of way, man. Yeah, so don't feel no kind of way. So that's, that's what I'm talking about with tricking, guys. I'm talking about going into a bar, bar finding a female. Or going into a bar and you going upstairs, you know what I'm saying? You know, all that old shit. That's tricking, guys. You know, you walk you up and down Beach Road under the coconuts, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's tricking. But hey man, if you meet a female, y'all hit it off, whoop the woo, and y'all go out, you know. Yeah, man, buy dinner. It ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh if she been fucking with you for a long time, right? She, you know, showing cooperation shit. Y'all at the mall, and she sees something, she's like, get it, nigga. It's, 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 it's a couple hundred buy, you know, whoop the woo, big deal. That ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, guys. Yeah, I hope you win. I hope you win. Do I have... Do do I have... <laughs> okay, let me get to some of, the, some of the guys here. Do I have your permission to bar find Nan? <laughs> uh, well, hey, man, you got to pay my fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I need 5000 I need 5000 Okay, what, what do we got here? The Mile High... What are you talking about? The Mile High Travel Guy says, It's just your turn. They ain't yours. 304 is just for everybody. Don't cuff them. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're not a player, man. See, once again, once again, yes, Mama Glory. Once again, you guys are not players, okay? Not okay. <laughs> you, you go, you, what number you play? Number? You play number on bike? Yes. But you play? Yes. <laughs> uh, before 6477. Seven. Yes. I pay 6477. Seven. Yes. But me, I know. Well, I got a spark up right quick, guys. I don't want y'all to look at me. <laughs> go, 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 Nick. Chip no, Chip no. Chip okay, Chip. okay, it's the Nan show, guys. <laughs> Nan wants some attention. <laughs> <laughs> I try, you know, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn that to blow. Nan, Nan, they want a kiss. YouTube won't kiss you. Kiss. Mm, mm, mm. They, no, 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 me. They, they want. <laughs> they want. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay, that's gonna that's gonna be a hundred motherfucking dollars, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Back to what I was saying. What was that suck? He said, "Don't cuff them." See, once again, you dudes ain't no players. I go over this all the time. I go over this all the time. See, when you a sucker and a trick. You only see one thing with a female, and that's the pay them, and that's the, you know, the P for P.
That's all you see. You don't see nothing else you could do. You just want to get in and get out and you think you did something. I'm telling you, man, like I said, listen to me. I always say this. You can go to slick in or you can go to trick in, okay? You slick with it or you a trick with it, man, okay? And most of you dudes are the trick with it, all right? Because that's all you see. You you wear trick color glasses. All you see is what a trick can do. You, do you understand? I mean, I'm trying to break this down. <laughs> I mean, so when you when, when you see a 304, the only thing you know how to do is go pay him. And you think you did something fly because it was your turn and you did whatever. You can't talk to a player like me that's about money, you know what I'm saying? About your exploits with a three, like I, 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 I don't care. See, you get my attention when you say, "Hey, man, I got a, I got OnlyFans, I got a YouTube, man, I got these chicks on there, man. We did twenty thousand, you know, what I'm saying a day. Woo, woo. That's how you get my attention, fam. You know what I'm saying? You dudes with the trick talk, it just don't register in my head, man. Okay, you gotta understand that it don't register. Okay, I don't think like you dudes. When I see the three o four, I say, "Damn, I see a dollar sign with high heels on." You understand? You don't. You want to run upstairs for an hour. So we're not the same. Do you understand? All right? I go over this all the time with you guys, man. <laughs> That's why y'all can never be in a player circle and talk to people. And see, a lot of guys be like, yeah, man, game of brown, he ain't got no game. Because I grew up around pimps and players, so I know a pimp and player when I see one, he's not. No, you didn't, nigga. No, you didn't grow up around shit. You niggas love, I been hearing a lot of dudes say that. I grew up around some players and Game, bro, he ain't no player. You didn't grow up around shit, nigga. You ain't, you ain't never talked to no players ever in your life. You probably seen some players and pimps and, and you know, nigga, you didn't talk to them. They didn't chop it up with you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, you can go, trust me on this. Do this for me, guys. I want you guys to, in your neighborhood right now, I want you to, I want you to find you an old school player. And I know, not know young little punk. Find you an old school real stomp down player, right? And let them know, hey, man, I'll be watching this guy game abroad on YouTube. Now, he got this girl, whoop the woo she worked here and there, and now he got her on his YouTube and this and that. And now, is that tricking? And I guarantee you, if he's a real stomp down player, he going to say, oh, he a player. He doing his thing, man. What's wrong with what he doing? I guarantee you, okay? <laughs> Go talk to your local player in your neighborhood. Tell them to watch game abroad. And see if I'm doing some sucker shit, okay? And get back to me. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't explain game like like Rosebud said, man. The movie explaining game to you lames. It's like it's like it's like talking astrophysics to a wino. You you, you just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, man. You know you can't teach these dudes nothing, man. <laughs> See, man, I am the biggest player on YouTube. I'm the biggest YouTube player out there, okay? There's other players out there. I give them their props. But I'm the biggest player YouTube in Pattaya, for sure. I told you, I put the P in Pattaya. I am the player out here in the Southeast Asia. You understand me? What he say here? Real players don't kiss 304s in the mouth. Hold that L. Mile high travel guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you don't get your lame ass out of here. Nah. Nah. Come in. Hey, Mile High Travel Guy, watch this. Mile High Travel Guy. Jewel. Jewel. Mwah, thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, uh, I know. I'm, just yeah, I'm talking to <laughs> See, Mile High Travel Guy, I'm winning. You're losing. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I love What? Okay, this is coming in quick. You could. You can. You can buy the world soon. <laughs> uh, you feel me? Hi, man. <laughs> don't worry about me kissing my brow. This is my brow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want like my money on, and no, no. like yeah no no not no like me. like me appreciate that hot boy Gates appreciate that player for the two dollars 
Yes, sir. See, man, you can't worry about what another motherfucker think about what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their bullshit definitions of player, and it just ain't mine. Hey, Brandon Baldwin, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's that Thailand, man. It's that Thailand, you know. It depends on what you want. Like we were saying earlier, do you want super cooperation or do you want just a baddie and that's all? Then when somebody said, like, if you're just going for a two-week vacation, woo -to -woo, and you just want some baddies to play with, you probably go to Brazil, you know what I'm saying? But if you're looking to expat, you're looking to stay somewhere, you know, settle down, you know, it's Thailand, man. It's Thailand. Yeah, man, them niggas mad because they ain't got them a nan. You know what I'm saying? Niggas at home. I'm telling you, they baby mama on their ass about the light bill. He got a court he got a court appointment in a couple weeks. He ain't got no haircut. You know what I'm saying? Them the type of dudes hating in my comments, for sure. I mean, I don't know, uh, Ausman Kaba, will I get married to Nan? I mean, who knows, man? Who knows, man? Who knows? You dig what I'm saying? Can we get a few more likes, man? Y'all get a little better, but can we step it up just a little bit more? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all want to look at Nan y'all want to look at me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, indeed. You feel me? What else we got going on, man? Yeah, but, you know, that's how I picture these dudes, man. Nigga ain't got no haircut, but you in my motherfucking comment section. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Where they do that at? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> nigga just busted. Why you not pimping that? Whoa, 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 bro. We're not doing nothing. nothing. Mr. Windy City 24, I am a YouTube content creator, man. Me and Nan, we, we knocking out content, man. You know what I'm saying? We are content creators, man. How much for, well, if, hit that super chat if you want Nan to twerk. I need you guys to hit the cash app, you know what I'm saying? Dollar sign JJ Fit Game. Uh, shit, man, if y'all want to holler at me, just uh, go to my uh, Instagram. JJ underscore Fit Game, uh, Rick, uh, Rick916 Nutty. Is you out there in San Diego? That's San Diego, ain't it? 916. That boy say, I want to be happy with a whole like game. <laughs> well, y'all is hell. I know I'm bullshit. Where my bud at? Hold on. I'm bullshit. I don't want to smoke on camera. I'm going to let y'all look at man while I talk. And that's another good thing, man. The legalization out here is, okay, 916 in Sacramento. Okay, my bad. I knew it was Cali somewhere. But ain't uh, ain't San Diego, they 9 oh, they 619. Okay, I think San Diego is 619, if I'm not mistaken. Thailand got some good, man. It's not on California level. It ain't on Cali level, but, you know, you won't be disappointed. You know, you won't be disappointed. Man. That boy said, don't fall in love, game. <laughs> Man. Yeah, okay, hold on. Neil Dunbar. Game, you don't have ism. You're a hero to the lames. Why do you spend so much time trying to justify you have failed all the measures of a player? Just stop. Neil Dunbar. What the hell is you talking about? You sound like a big hater. I like, I like, I like, I like, uh, I like popping game, bro. See, y'all think I'm trying to justify and explain something when I'm just giving game. I'm just giving y'all my perspective. You know, I'm just popping shit. That's what we do. But for some reason, y'all always think it's something else, man. Trust me, man. The haters don't get to me, man. I just think it's entertaining when I when I when I talk a little shit with y'all. You know, that's all. And it, and it gives me a an opportunity to give y'all some game, you know, just to give y'all my perspective, man. I mean, it ain't that serious, man. Mr. Mike Hennigan. I'm just chopping game, man. Damn, where y'all from, man? I thought in the black community, player shit was cool to talk about. 
I mean, I'm not talking about gang banging and selling drugs. I'm not talking about uh, being live like that. My battery went dead. If you back in here, give me a give me a thumbs up. I have my shit together. I'm just gonna be up for a little bit longer, man, before I go to the gym. Yes. Yeah, we back, man. I didn't want to end live like that. I'm going to be on here a couple more minutes. Are y'all in here? What's popping? What's popping? Are y'all back? We back. We back. You got knocked out the box. You came back to see Nan twerk. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Yeah, we back. We back, man. We back. My bad. My bad. I got to drink a few more cups of coffee right quick before I go to the gym. Yeah, play on looking right, though. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, I'm telling y'all, you got to hit the gym. Okay, man. I love you. What? Now I want y'all to look at her. She she wanna steal the show. I'm a, I'm a power back. Now you thought. Ah no, talk in late. Talk in late. Talk you thought they want. You two want you. They know they know they know. In late, I said being late no good. Ah. Power back. <laughs> Do y'all like Nan's hair? Okay. We going. She doing a straight look today. I mean, you know, for a few days. Do y'all like Nan's hair like this, or do y'all like the braids better? So, so your hair. Hmm? Yeah, do the little, do the little, <laughs> do the little shake. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. huh? Do y'all like Nan's hair? What? Oh. Do y'all like that? So y'all, you like it straight? The braids is my favorite. I like the braids. But I'm digging the straight look too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig the straight look too. So y'all like the straight or the braids? Shot Collar said straight. A regular hair. I mean, Shot Collar, do you think she trying to appropriate black culture? Do y'all think that? Because... When you come to Thailand, man, a lot of girls wear braids, man. It ain't just Nan. Like, a lot of people think that don't know. They think she trying to, you know. But it's a, it's a, uh, it's a style out here, man. It's a style out here. Yeah, yeah, the braids better. Yeah, I like this. That's cool, though. I like the little straight look. It's cool. Okay, so yeah, you don't think so? Yeah, you know, a lot of people be in the comments like, you know, they're trying to appropriate black culture. But uh, nah, the girls love braids out here, man. You're going to see little kids and everybody. Even little foreigners come out here. You see little white girls with braids? <laughs> I mean, they just come out here and start braiding. Yeah, man. They, they wear it good, though. It look good. Like on Nan, her braids look good on her. On some of the girls out here, it's, it's all right. But Nan, Nan, Nan rock it good. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, locks are iffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody will braid, you know. She ain't on that Rachel Dozo shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. Okay, we got 71. Y'all falling back in? Yeah, braids for Nan. That's why I say Nan, her facial structure, her look, you know, her color. Yeah, it go, it go. You know, she rock it good. She rocks it good. See, see, if Nan went to Brazil, she she a whole lot on in Brazil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nana, Nana get them girls to run for their money in Brazil. Some of these girls out here can though, you know. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're going to go back and forth. But the braids is my favorite. She probably going to do that again in a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, to give her her a rest. Yeah. Tell Nan to have them braids when I get there. <laughs> All right, player. Make sure you pay for them to get, get braided. You know what I'm saying? That's your job. <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, we got we got 72. Yeah, y'all fall back in, man. Just want to pop a little more shit before I go to the gym. You, know? you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, like I said, we're talking about Asian or Brazilian, okay? Now, I would mention other countries, but I ain't never been there. I'm just talking about what I know, you know what I'm saying, from my experience, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you want, if y'all just coming in for the first time, do you take cooperation or do you want, uh, you know, do you want uh, just the body and the look? You know, how important is that to you? Well, y'all talking about a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I need, I need cooperation, man, before I need anything, man. That, that cooperation is a must, you know what I'm saying? You know? I don't want no 10 that's going to talk back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real, that's going to make you ugly right there. But Brazilian, like I said, Brazilian girls ain't like that, though, you know what I'm saying? If there, if there was another country, who give better cooperation than Asian girls? You know what I'm saying? Is there another country? Okay, shot call. I respect that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's so. That's the. That's really the the question you gotta ask yourself. What what kind of traveler are you? You know what I'm saying. Or you you know, are you a weekend warrior or are you looking expat? So, yeah, I think we can chalk it up to that, man. What kind of traveler are you? What you looking for? Cause you gotta ask yourself what you looking for before you go to certain countries. Not everybody the same. Some guys, you know, depending on the country. Some guys, you know. Certain stuff is important to them, you know what I'm saying? So when you rank all these countries, you know, it's really about what, what's good for you. For real. Okay, what we got going? What are you doing? Is everything all good down there? Yes, sir, everything is good, real luck. Okay, we got a lot of haters in here. <laughs> Where are all the players at? We're going to get to the haters later. We'll get to y'all later. We got 86 in here. Okay, do y'all want cooperation? That's going to rule the nation? Or do y'all want body? You know what I'm saying? I already shot caller. Yeah, you my type of guy. I think that's what it is. Yeah, and Brazil is just too dangerous. <laughs> but like I said, man, the danger, man, in Brazil, you got to understand it's petty crime, man. That's the danger, you know what I'm saying? So you're not going to go down there and just, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? The danger is your stuff getting stolen, you know. Cause that's danger to white people, you know. They get their stuff stolen. They like, oh my God, it's horrible down here. It's so dangerous. But you know, you ain't gonna get, you know, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Just don't be in the favelas, of course. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just watch your stuff down there on the beach, man. But that's about it, man, with danger. Y'all gotta understand that about it's not like Colombia. Ain't no scope of me. That's that's danger. See, that's danger. Colombia. You know what I'm saying? Like, your life is actually on the line messing with these bras. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's danger, man. And they didn't even off the couple brothers. You know what I'm saying? So, when you talk about danger, that's danger. Not getting my wallet stole, you know. That's kind of a nuisance and just, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, you know, Ning-na. you want to. Yeah, Ning-na. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, but just like, uh, just like, you know, yeah, man, the danger. Yeah, man, just remember that, man. Yeah, because you do want to explore the country and shit. And that can deter you from, you know, meeting chicks and whatnot. You got to watch your back. You don't want to be hollering at a chick and then, you know, you got to watch your back. You got to <laughs> you gotta keep your head on a swivel and you trying to rap to her, bro. That ain't cool. Or you rapping, you, or you kicking with a chick, you got to worry about it if she going to try to scope you. Like, that's danger. When it's danger and actually messing with the chicks, then that's like, that's real danger. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit. Oh, that's cool, Mike Hennigan. You've been traveling for 30 years. That's good, man. That's good. That's good, man. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, it's just one too many cases for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, like, because if you're in this travel space and you're watching it, you, you know, you're seeing these. It's been a lot of instances, man. I think, like, somebody posted, like, it's been, like, just this year it's been, like, I don't know, it's been eight brothers off, something like that. So, uh, I don't know, man. It's, that's Is that a lot? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Is that a lot? You know, I mean, because when you're watching this travel content, you're keeping up with everything. It's going to seem alarming. So, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm not trying to be in a country where I got to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, kidnapping, you know, waking up with no kidneys, stuff like that. Eh. I'm good on that, man. But, you know, like I said, like we, a lot of times we come from America with the, with the judgmental American mindset, you know. Same stuff happened in America, so... You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, same stuff be going on in the States, man. Yeah, I stay on my fitness, Javier. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, that's real danger, man. So, yeah, danger is a big factor, man. We're, messed, we're not here, you know, dealing with a chick, you know. And that's one thing you don't got to worry about in Thailand. There's no danger. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's talk about how not dangerous Thailand is, man. And it's just cool, man. You can really get your Mac on and really get out there when you ain't got to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. So that's that does count, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know for sure. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be out somewhere. I don't know about Europe yet, shot caller. Uh. Yeah, man, a lot of stuff is in the plan. I love to visit a lot of countries. I just ain't in the quite, just in a big hurry to get to Europe. See, you know, in this travel thing, you know, you got the four main, what was it, four or five main spots everybody go to. I haven't even been to all of them yet, you know. I still need to go to DR. You know, I ain't been to DR yet. That's one of the main spots. And I ain't been to Colombia, you know. Uh, but Thailand and Brazil, yeah, I think it's Thailand, Thailand, Brazil, DR, Colombia. That's what you hear most brothers, you know. I know this is a beaten path, everybody go there and all that, but I ain't been there yet, so I need to go to experience it for myself and get my take on it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even been to the four spots everybody go to yet. So yeah, I still gotta get some of that DR and that, uh, you know, and take a peek at Columbia, you know what I'm saying? For sure. For shit show. Okay, what y'all got going on in the comments? Jack Taylor, you said, how many down there got nan booties? Uh, like I said, not a lot. I mean, they out of here, man. It's just hard to explain, you know. Because a lot of times I hear, man, you're going to see a cute-ass chick like that. I'm a, you know how you see a sexy, cute chick? You know what I'm saying? Like, she just might not have all the ass and shit, but she got a little body on her and she cute. Like, damn, that motherfucker, that bad. Like, you're going to see a lot of that, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it is, you no. Know? It's a it's a it's a lot of cute ones out here, for sure. I mean, yeah, man, the face, they look good. Hell yeah. But then, you know, you look at the body, like I said, we like them thick, man. You say you might, yeah, she kinda lacking a little bit. But then some of them just got some got some nice shapes, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't I like thick girls, but like the, you know, I like a slim, slim thick one too. I like a cute, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it just be something about a chick I like. She might not just be necessarily super thick. It's just something about her I like. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to see a lot of that out here, man. You're going to see a lot of cute chicks, man. But that's in their culture, man. You know, they're not really with the... Out here, man, it's not about being thick. They kind of shun away from that. They, It's all about being slim and, and light, light skin, you know, white skin and, and, and slim. You know what I'm saying? And when and see that's the thing. When that's the when that's the, the, the beauty standard of that country, then you know what I'm saying? That's gonna make it difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the beauty standard here. Slim, uh, and you know, white skin. That's not the beauty standard in Brazil. Well, actually it is, man. Let's keep it funky. In most of the countries in the world, it's all about white and being light skinned. Am I right? I mean, that's the beauty standard when you go to most countries, man. Like, if you look at, like, like I would always, when I was learning Spanish, man, I would be looking at uh, the Spanish channel, you know what I'm saying? On, on, and back in, in Dallas, you know, I'll be, I was learning Spanish. I would look at the Spanish TV a lot, man. And they always got the lighter, white-skinned people on TV. You never see the real culture of the dark-skinned people on TV because they don't prop them up. They don't put them, you know what I'm saying? They don't, you know, like you watch the news and certain things like that. It's never gonna be a dark skinned person uh in that, you know what I'm saying? I mean that's 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 for that's for sure. It's never gonna be a dark skinned person doing the news and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So even around the world, man, it's about being light skinned, that white skin, you know what I'm saying? And of course in America, of course, it's all about blonde hair, blue eyes, you know what I'm saying? So that be the standard, man, around the world. You know what I'm saying? So and people just want to live up to that. What you said, Mike Hennigan, you said DR was not impressive to me. It reminded me very dark off a version version of Brazil. You said if I know damn Mike Hennigan for real. I'ma still go check it out, man. You know, I'ma still go check it out, man. I'ma still go take a look at it. Mike Hennigan, how is the how is the conversion rate down there? Is it cheap? Is it about the same as Brazil? I know when I was in Brazil, the, the, that was one to five. So that's a big thing when you <laughs> when you dealing with the females too, though. That's another thing you got to factor in. You know, like how long? That's another appealing thing about Thailand. You know, how long is my dollar gonna go? You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause you know you're gonna be want to be entertained to go out. So yeah, man, that's a big factor in it too. I mean, they got, that ain't got nothing to do with the girl herself, but, you know, I don't know. You know, you got to factor that in. Okay, what y'all talking about in the comments? That boy said, man, I'm a big fan of Game of Brawl, but I might barf. <laughs> okay, go for it, player. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. Uh, no, shot caller, it's like one dollar is like 34, 35 uh, baht. It used to be higher than that back in the day, I heard. I heard it, was, it used to be damn near like one to 50. So that would be real lovely, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like one to 34, shot caller. Now it's more than one to 20. I think it's like one to 30 something, if I, if I believe. Okay, what y'all talking about in the comment? Okay, the haters have arrived. The haters have arrived. There you go. Y'all haters follow on in here. <laughs> but yeah, man, you got to factor all that in, man. You got to factor all that in. You did. So yeah, man, we're talking about the Asians or the Brazilians. Asians or Brazilians? Who are y'all rocking with the most? Do you want cooperation or do you want the body? Okay, cool, Mike Hennigan. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah, that conversion rate is always a must to me. Gotta know about that conversion rate. <laughs> you gotta factor that in, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, for real. For real. For real, for real, for real. <laughs> I 
Bro, y'all is hell in the comments, man. You did. Where are all the players at? We got a lot of haters in here, but are the players in the house tonight? I know it's like, uh, Yeah, I heard Philippines was expensive, though. Like, how much are they Airbnbs and shit down there in the Philippines? I got to do some of my homework on the Philippines before I go down there. But when I go to other spots, I ain't going to be down there like, I mean, I mean, you know, Thailand is kind of like the hub. I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm going to be here for a minute. Appreciate that, Dominique, forever. Yes, sir. Appreciate you watching, man. Yeah, man, we're going to keep it player, man, on the player channel. Hey, man, this is Players Club Travel Guide. That's how you add me, man. This is Game Abroad, man. My channel is called Game Abroad, man. That boy said go to India. <laughs> hey, man, I'm telling you, I, I seen on a post, look it up. India had some of the most beautiful people in the world, man. I think they was ranked like number one. I bullshit you not. That was crazy. No lies told. How much does your mama charge? <laughs> we know she out there on the stroll. You know what I'm saying? You, you sound like a trick baby. <laughs> no lies told is a trick baby, y'all. <laughs> Argentina's, I heard... Damn, Mike Hennigan, I heard Argentina was not expensive. Yeah, and I heard brothers really didn't get a... See, you know, you know where brothers get play at, the big four we just talked about. But I heard Argentina was cheap, man. So, what, they done flipped it? You said India's mad racist? <laughs> I mean, shit. Can't no country be racist when they got some disgusting street food, man. They need to do something about that shit. <laughs> Oh, crazy, but expensive. Yeah, if, if a spot expensive, I ain't going to be there too long. I'll just be dipping in and out. Because everything got to add up. Safety, cost of living, all that shit, you know, uh, all that shit. Infrastructure. And I just break it down like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You feel <laughs> they got cow shit puddles. <laughs> okay, appreciate that. Uh, you, you, Daya, Israel, by five hundred up. Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't shit. Yeah, that ain't bad. I know Brazil is expensive. I'm like, what did they get out being so expensive in Brazil, man? Damn, you know what I'm saying? It just don't make no sense, man. Okay, we got the haters in the house. Who is this Karen Kane? Who are you? You, are, you must be a new hater. You must be a new hater. Welcome to the player show, Karen Kane. You might come in and have a seat. You might learn your thing or two. <laughs> you feel me? Yes, sir. See, yeah, man. I got a whole lot of other countries to see. I don't know who's the best. I just said Brazil, Thailand. I mean, chime in if y'all know another spot. Chime in if somebody, who has more cooperation than, what Asian, Asian country has the most cooperation? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, they all cooperate, but do Koreans cooperate more than Thailand? Do Chinese, you know what I'm saying? Or is Thailand, uh, you know what I'm saying? Is Thailand the most cooperative? You know what I'm saying? Japan, Japan, they women cooperate the most, but do they cooperate with brothers? Let's throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they cooperate well, and do they cooperate with brothers? You know what I'm saying? For sure.
Yes, Mike Hennigan, I agree all, with all that, man. The food, the people, and yeah, man. I mean, Thailand is the shit, man. For real. Okay, Thailand. You think Philippines cooperate the best? <laughs> okay. I guess Philippines and Thailand is a toss-up, man. You know, you see guys, you know. Like I said, it just depends on what you look for. I don't know what's the difference between the, between the two. I can't wait to go see, you know what I'm saying? Get my own assessment of, you know, what's going on. You said maybe Philippines? Man, y'all stomping hard for the Philippines, man. You said Philippines is cool, but you ain't getting no love without paying. <laughs> I must say South Korea. <laughs> I ain't heard nothing about South Korea. I don't know, maybe that could be, you know, undiscovered, you know what I'm saying? South Korea. But Thailand been doing this. It's, it got a, it's this old game. Dude's been coming out here, you know what I'm saying? South Korea expensive. God damn. Three, a Thailand told you three to four women. I believe that. Three to four women per man in Thailand. Okay, Richard Mack did a video comparing them. I need to check that out. Cebu City. Okay, is that the spot in Philippines? Hey, man, I heard Panama is expensive, though. Uh, Dominique Forever, Panama is expensive, ain't it? <laughs> but we ain't really talking about price, man. We talk, Let's just focus on the cooperation from the women. The women, man. That boy said, when did you start balding? Hey, man, I started balding a few years back, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Nan like to travel. We're going to go. Uh, she going to hit a few spots with me for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to do our travel thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pay to play cooperation. I mean, hey, man. Cooperation period, you know. Because some chicks you pay, they might not still cooperate, you know. I mean, you know, you pay, they, they in there, they, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't that bad when you, pay for, when you pay for her time and then she get in there and it's just like, you don't get your, you don't get your service, you don't get your customer service you expected. You know, she ready to go. Her stomach hurt. She trying to do everything to get out of it. She just want the money and go. Don't y'all tricks go through that? Don't y'all hate when y'all go through some shit like that, you know? I done talk to girls, they, they talk about shit like that, you know. <laughs> See, some dudes, like, some dudes, like, some dudes, like, they be raiding guys. Like, some, all dudes ain't the same, you know. Some dudes, some dudes, some, you know, all of them ain't the same when you, when you, when you pay. Like, they might look at one dude like, okay, you know, uh, I'm just gonna do this and get it over with. I don't like him at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, some dudes, they look at it like that. You know, some dudes, some dudes, they can't get it at all. Even if you got some money, they be like, you know, you know, I don't, I don't do that or whatever. You know, lying. She just don't want to fuck with you. She don't care about the money at all. You know what I'm saying? Then some dudes, you know, they'll get the money from. Okay, boom. You know, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? He just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just a regular run of the mill uh, sucker. You know what I'm saying? And then some dudes they really like. You know, they actually meet a dude coming there. They like, it. damn, he look good. I like him. I like something about him. He, he's funny. He smell good. I like him. He can get it without the money, you know, if he want it, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, I, oh, I'm enjoy getting this money from him. You know, they look at it like dude, some dude like that. You know what I'm saying? But some dude can't even pay for it. You know what I'm saying? For real, you know. And then they look at guys like me. You know what I'm saying? Just a you big boss player, you know. You something that it? they buy down to. You know what I'm saying? That's how they look at me. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you did, for real. <laughs> Flash a nip. Are you talking to me or Nan? <laughs> I'll show you a little titty. I got, you want to see a little titty? I'll show you a little titty. You know what I'm saying? What? I'm in Bangkok right now. Where you at? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, man, they like charisma. 
I don't need some of your comments. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Yeah, no. I told I would. Well, y'all is hell in the comment. Y'all talking about Raise. Appreciate that 49er uh, reefer. Appreciate that, man. Bro, everybody know I kiss Nan. I done kissed Nan plenty of times, man. You late. You late, man. Come on, man. You need to catch up, man. You know what I'm saying? Put some ketchup on your fries, man. Yeah, man. Okay, we got a lot of haters in here. I guess I got a few minutes to entertain the haters before I go. Oh, man. So the haters in here, do y'all have a girlfriend? Okay. Do you have a woman at all that you can call right now? Huh? I find that hard to believe. I told you about you haters. You dudes is in here. What time is it in the States? It's about, yeah, it's about 1, 12. Yeah, you dudes ain't got no woman. You know what I'm saying? Because you would be with her. You know, you wouldn't be on here hating. You know what I'm saying? It's 1 in the morning, and you in my comment section hating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Unique. What are you talking about? Okay, we got some real current haters. I remember some of you dudes, man. I remember some. Hey, man, you know what's so so crazy, man? Like dudes be hating, and like, like I be looking at y'all comments, man, and niggas just be. <laughs> it just be so funny, cause like, like one dude, like dudes be hating, and you know it be somebody in the comments that I check and be like, man, like, like you know, like why you hate, man? Why do you care? Like why do you care? You know, what's the big? What's it to you, man? You know why are you watching? And they'll be like, shit, I don't care. He, he lame. And then, you know, I can click on your I can click on your name, right? I can click on your profile, and it'll show me every comment that you done left on my channel. You know what I'm saying? And some of you niggas done left eight to ten comments. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you don't care. <laughs> One nigga said, like, I don't care. He lame. And, I, and I, hit his, I hit his profile. It showed me every comment he done left. This nigga left, like, ten comments. Some of these niggas be leaving, like, two comments on each post. I upload, these niggas be leaving like two comments. It's like, you uh, care too much, man. Uh -huh. you, you're, you're emotionally invested in my life. You care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let Nigga be like, I don't care. It's like, bro, you done left 10 comments, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, look, you, you don't get fed like this. Mm. Are you getting treated like that? Hmm. Are you getting treated like that in the States? No. Mm -hmm. Especially not you haters. Mm -hmm. You haters up licking in your booty right now. You got no haircut. And you got court appointment in the morning. You got a stalking case. You got a court appointed. Uh, you got a court in the morning for a stalking case, right? And you up in my comment section. Hey. <laughs> You ain't had no, you ain't got no haircut. You ain't got your clothes laid out. None of that. Your grandma, she don't want to take you to the court. She don't want to take you to court in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You just all messed up and you hate. <laughs> mm. I appreciate that, Tim. Uh, Tim Bagad Vlogs. Appreciate that, man. Bobby Bo Bo Bobby Boonga, you ain't got fed by a woman since 
your mama had you in the hot seat, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When your mama had you in the hot chair as a baby, that's the last time a woman ever ever fed you. <laughs> Fool ass, nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you ain't had nothing. Nan beautiful, Nan beautiful. No, no beautiful. Look, Nan, Nan is be cutie. Look, see? Okay. <laughs> she trying to read your comments. She saw her name, but she didn't know if it was good or bad. <laughs> you thought I know good? No, good, Nan. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, my, I need to hit the gym in a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all, y'all need to stay on top of y'all fitness when you come out here. Stay on your fitness game, all right? That's part of it. Language is the most important thing. I need to drop a video. Hey, man, let me know if y'all want me to drop some more content on language. You know, Nan be uh, teaching me words. She be wanting y'all to know some words. She thinks it's very important, you know, when y'all come out here, y'all know some words. So do y'all want some content about uh, language where we bring y'all some words? You know, make it interesting and entertaining, you know. Be lighthearted, you know what I'm saying? But just some, you know, words that you should know when you come out here, you know what I'm saying? That you're going to hear a lot of, that you can use when you come out here. Do y'all want any, because I'm, I'm told you I'm a big stickler on the language, man. You know, you got to learn language before you go to any said country, man. It just don't make no sense to not know the language. And that's another thing that factors into the females, man, you know. Uh... You can get a lot of play, man, if you knew more of the language, man. But we don't, you know. So that forces us to open our wallet a little more, you know. Because I told you, conversation rule the nation, man. If you was able to go somewhere and sit down and talk to a female, like, fluently, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can have a just a, a conversation, just like in America. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, that's going to get you in the door, man. Like, for real, man, more than anything, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so yeah, man, language, 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 man. Increase your mouthpiece, all right? That's the slogan. Increase your mouthpiece, you know? Emma King. <laughs> and you on here watching me. You on here watching me in my trio phone, okay, buddy? See, y'all keep forgetting that. Y'all watching me while you hating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mr. A, that was pretty funny. That was, that was a good one, Mr. A. The Soy 6 version of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Sometimes y'all haters can be funny. Like, every now and then, y'all got a little something to say. Okay, you got me on that one, buddy. What up, gang, bro? Oh, yeah, man. Would you say, that, what up, gang, bro? Since traveling away from the States, bro, I want to... I want to travel away from the States. I want to get up out the States, bro. Anyways, do your thing. Yeah, man, get on up out the States, man. It's time to start traveling, man. Especially when you're in your late, in your 40s and stuff. It's time to go if you ain't been there yet. Yeah, man, you want to get up out the States, man. You want to get up out the States when you're about in your 40s. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to say earlier, man. I think you should mature a little more before you just want to come, I don't know, just be out the States for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. Like, when it's time, when you're, when you're in your 40s, maybe you don't, you don't maximize, you don't outgrew the States. It's time to go see something else. It's time to go, the earth is your turf, man. It's time to get out there and see something else, man. For real. Because then you're still young enough. But then you matured enough, it's that 40 ish. Yeah, man, it's time to go. It's time to go. If you ain't, you know, and if you're in your late 30s, start planning. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you got to get up out of there, man. I appreciate that, Roger White. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, I just be on shooting the shit. Juan Andres, man, I'm just having fun, man. We in the OKL7. 
Where is that at? Okay, what else we got going on here? What other women is more cooperative? Y'all ain't told me. What's going on, man? Have y'all been out the country? What's going on? Y'all been y'all been campaigning? I mean, tell me what's up. So Thailand, Thailand is the spot, huh? Yeah, I'm out here in Pattaya, Thailand, man. <laughs> that boy say he need to know if they... No, that gas is all right, man. I always tell y'all that. Yeah, man. Guys, if y'all want to see Nan, she, she works at... Uh, she works at Showgirls. Everybody know that, man. So go up there. Y'all go up there and see that. Support her. Go up there and buy a drink and support. All right? How long can you honestly stay in Nan Village? <laughs> hey, man, after a few days, I'll be ready to go. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. To, like, when I first get there, it's cool. You know, it's like, it's cool to change the pace, man. It's, it's cool. Next time I'm going to go, we're going to... She said there's some kind of resort out there. Some kind of hotel resort. I think we're going to stay there next time I go out there, you know. Uh, they got, like, you know, their version of the town's, you know, hotel. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to check it out. Do I experience any racism dating Nan? Saheed Abdul Rahim. Uh... No, nah, man. I mean, no. Nah. You know, like, I haven't experienced no racism, especially not with her folks either, you know. Uh, no, nah, man. I mean, you know, this brothers out here, you know, everybody dates the Thai girls out here, no matter where they come from. So, I think they used to seeing brothers out here. I don't experience any racism, period, out here. Like, not overtly, definitely. I mean, I'm sure they have their, you know, but it ain't a lot of brothers out here. We ain't, we ain't that deep out here at all. You know what I'm saying? And, but like, I don't know. I don't get stares and stuff when I'm with Nan, you know. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't sense that. I don't sense that at all, you know. And all the brothers out here are dating uh, Thai chicks. I mean, that's all that's out here today. So, I think they're used to it by now. It's not like, yeah. That's another appealing thing about here, man, you know. It's cool to come out here as a brother and, and date, you know, the Thai chicks. You know what I'm saying? They... Nah, yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, you said the village remind you of the South? Yeah, it's just like any, any other place, man, out there. You know, in deep in the country, man, Texas and Arkansas and all through the South, man, you go in them rural, real rural, it remind you of that, you know what I'm saying? What are y'all, of course, you doing? Last day. Well, you said, do a lot of Asian girls love the Thai chicks? <laughs> what you talking about, Mike? Focus. I don't understand. Appreciate that, Sahib Abdul. Yes, sir. We're going to keep rocking like a cutoff stock. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Ski. Oh, man. I traveled to Africa for every.
Tim, uh, but God, you say you traveled to Africa for a year. The women was cool too, but Asian women treat you good. Okay, so Asian women treat you better than African women? Wow, okay. So, I mean, I was with one before motherfucker needed that at the time, no cap. Now, I feel you, man. I feel you, Tim. Good point, man. So, damn, you know, do Asians treat us better than our own sisters from the motherland? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. Are they digging American brothers in Africa? Let's talk about that. Are they digging American brothers? And do the African brothers, are they cool with us coming out there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? I be seeing some bad African chicks though, like, you know, so, yeah, man. Bro, I remember, I remember a long time ago, before I went, yeah, I think when I was first, when I first got in the military, like in 98, yeah, I went out to Germany, you know what I'm saying? And that, like, you know, I was young then, so, you know what I'm saying? You look, all I knew about an African, bro, was like what I saw on TV. <laughs> That's all we knew, and that was back, you know, that was back before the YouTube and all. I mean, you just, you just saw what you saw on TV, you know what I'm saying? And so when I got down there, all the brothers was like, "Shit, man, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, you, you ever got your African before?" I'm like, "African? Hell no! I'm thinking of the bone and the nose and shit." That's all. That's how I was young, bro. I was like 18, 19, bro. <laughs> and that's all I thought about when I thought about the African, bro. It was bone in the nose and shit, the shit with the lip and shit, all that shit. And it was like. And they was like, hell no, nah, nigga, that's not, no. And they took me to the club. Nigga was bad, light skinned, you know what I'm saying? Them Eritrean chicks, Ethiopian chicks, even the Kenyan chicks. All of them was bad, dark skinned. They was some baddies. I'm like, oh shit, that's African? I, that's how young and dumb I was, fam. <laughs> like, that's how that's how I was, bro. And I was, and shit. So I, ever since then, I've been knowing some bad Africans, bro. But this is before YouTube and people looked up shit. They just show Africans on TV with the flies and shit in the bone. And they knew that I was going to react like that. That's why they was like, shit. It was kind of a joke when they asked me, but they knew I was going to react like, because they did. They was like, yeah, you thought there was the bone in the nose with the flies and shit. Hell no, nah, nigga, this shit's bad. After the bad, nigga. Them chicks had good hair and shit. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, so <laughs> that shit was funny as hell, man. Okay, yeah, you say the women digging us 100%, but the men is mixed. Some cool, jealous, and it's vice versa with our women. Okay. 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 Well, that's cool. That's what you thought for you went to Nigeria. <laughs> but, I, you know, that's a long time ago, man. Young, naive, but that's what they was feeding us on TV, man. You know what I'm saying? And that was just like a big shock, man, when I went to the club. And it was just like shit. Africa's bad, man. The same as your mama, uh, Bobby Boonga. <laughs> same as your mama and your sister, nigga. <laughs> you did. Hey, Tronova, I move on when I get ready, nigga. I got a point I was trying to make. The bleaching in Africa, yeah, I don't think that's cool. I heard about that, hey man. Like I told you, man, that coloration is everywhere, man. I just got, I was saying that before the shit ended. They do that out here, man. Like, they be taking injections and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be having creams and shit. So, I'm telling you, man, it's like that all over the world, man. Everybody wants to be light, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just a, a harsh, that's a harsh reality, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and as brothers, we like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, shit. They trying to stay lighter, you know, but they fuck with us, but, you know, <laughs> they ain't, they don't want their skin getting dark, shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that everywhere, man. It's like that everywhere, man. We live in the, you know, that's what it is, man. And it's even like that within our own culture, guys. You know, let's keep it real, you know. Light skin, you know. Back in the day, they had the whole brown paper bag thing, you know. It's even like that within our own culture, guys. So we got to keep it real, you know. But I love when I see the dark skin ties, man. 
you know, mm -hmm. dark skinned Thai chick. I, th I thought one chick was black when I, before I walked up on her. I mean, from a distance, I thought she was a black chick. Man, I walked up on her, she was Thai. I'm like, damn. Some of these girls look, I mean, they got that old African, you know what I'm saying? Some of, that, some of the girls still got the African jeans lingering. So Jamaica's like that too? Are they on the light skin shit too? I'm going to bring that to the States, man. I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, man. Someone got them soul brother jeans, man. But yeah, man, I love seeing the dark skin ties, man. They beautiful, man. I be telling them, nah, let your shit be natural. You know what I'm saying? Be natural, you know? For real, man. Oh, shit, man. How long have I been on here? Oh. I was 30, almost two hours, man. I'm finna wrap it up here in a minute. I'm gonna get a few more of y'all questions. Do y'all wanna hit that cash app? The cash app is dollar sign JJ Fit Game. I will put the cash app in the description. I really appreciate y'all. I need to call out. Damn. Uh, hold on. I wonder, can I? I need to start. It was a couple brothers hit me on the cash app. If you watching, somebody hit me with 10. I think another brother hit me with 20. I need to start writing the names down because I want to I want to uh, recognize y'all, call y'all name out on my next live. So I will do that, man. But appreciate the cash apps, man, that y'all been sending. Uh, a few brothers, you know, that do send it. I really appreciate that, man. That support go a long way, man. And I appreciate the fifteen dollars I got today, man. Appreciate that. It all it all goes to Nan, guys. It all, all the money goes to Nan. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, shit. Yeah, man. I'm finna wrap it up here in a minute. Let me get some of y'all questions, man. Oh, you went to Papua Cafe, Steve, Eli? Yeah, man, that place is dope, ain't it, man? Cool place, man. Yeah, I like that place. I'm gonna do some more. You know I'm gonna do You know I'm gonna do all the restaurants for y'all. We be eating like a motherfucker. I love to eat, goddamn. Because I'm gonna eat more than I... You dig know what I'm saying? You gonna eat more than you bang. So you got you gotta know the good spots to eat at. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, Mike Hennigan. Yes, sir. Blessings to you, man. Uh, I'm in VA. How long is the travel? It's a 24 hours, man. You probably gonna stop. Uh, Mike, Mike, focus. You probably gonna stop in Japan. I had to stop in Japan for six hours, and then I came. It's like so that you know it all came out to like 24 hours. I don't know if they got any direct flights here. I'm, I mean, they probably do. Take that in. Hey, we got a super chat. Appreciate that ten dollars, man. Who is this here? Uh, my boy, real, real love. Appreciate you, player. Player, always tapping in, showing support, man. Appreciate that, real love. Yes, sir. Yeah, six hours. Ooh, that was my flight, uh, Mike. Focus. So I don't know, but that flight, just get ready for it, man. That flight deter a lot of people from coming to Thailand. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, that flight hell. You know what I'm saying? So get nice and comfortable, man. If you don't know how to fly, some people don't know how to fly, you know, they're not used to it. Make sure you're comfortable. You got all your zoom zooms and wham whams. You know, you got your Wi Fi and this and that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just get ready for that flight, man. And don't come out here no. This is not a weekend trip. Huh? Okay, okay. I'm going to go to the gym. You want to come to the gym? You want to come to the You want to You come back? I I cooking okay? Yes, okay. 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 cooking long time. Okay. take long time cook? Yeah, you go finish one hour. You come back, finish. Okay. One hour. She discussing what we gonna eat later on. She I said, don't know. I look YouTube. I'm not sure. I'm not okay. alive. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
we discussing what we gonna eat. So she, 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 she's explaining to me when I go to the gym and come back, she gonna be cooking dinner. You know, it's gonna be finished. So that's the kind of stuff we talk about as, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with a Thai woman, you know what I'm saying? You know, she telling me the food gonna be ready once I get back, cause you know, I'll be hungry in the mother when I come back from the gym. You did. <laughs> you don't think you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. What? Pregnant, baby. <laughs> no, she's not pregnant, guys. <laughs> that was offensive, man. <laughs> uh, they are ATL College Park. You know, how, you know how girls is with their figure. You, you tell a girl she pregnant, she ain't pregnant. That's offensive to the mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what we got? Okay, we got another one. It was a 690... Thank you, Ava Aya. Appreciate that. Uh, where are you from? Is that that's not dollars? Appreciate that. Appreciate the uh, donation. Yes, sir. A V A Y. Where you from? Where 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 is that coming from? How much to come? What? Oh, oh, money. <laughs> what? Hey, you right, unique. My bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have read it out loud for sure. <laughs> when she see her name, she be like, what is that? She know how her name look. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's listening to, I hope I don't get a copyright strike with the music, man. Music. Yes. She gonna give me a copyright strike. Music, no, no good YouTube no, no, music. No. Okay. Okay, okay. Gotta, yeah, man. Okay, man, I'm finna get ready to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all joining me, shit. I, if I sit too long, I ain't gonna wanna go to the gym and shit. You know how that is, I'm getting old. Uh, appreciate y'all joining, man. Appreciate the last few dollars, man, y'all sent. Oh, hold on. We got, we got another $10 there. Yeah. I don't want to go if y'all going to keep donating. Appreciate that Flash 1906. Yes, sir. Appreciate that player. Yeah, we're going to hold it down. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to hold it down, man. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, I'm going to try to go live every week, guys. You know, it's my. I try to go live once a week. It'll definitely be, you know, around this time, my breakfast time. If y'all in the States, it'll be at nighttime. So just... Uh, yeah, look out for my live once a week, man. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, man, yeah, appreciate the true super chats. Uh, cash app, I put in the description, man. If y'all want to donate, support the channel, I'll put that in the description for you guys, man. Appreciate that. All right, appreciate y'all joining, man. I'm gonna go hit this gym, man. Y'all stay up. <laughs>